125 years ago, Maria Sklodowska Curie and her husband announced the discovery of polonium. On July 18, 1898, Maria Sklodowska Curie and her husband Pierre Curie announced the discovery of a new radioactive element, polonium. The spouses named it in honor of Poland, in Latin, Polonia, Maria's country of origin. It was not uncommon for elements to be named after the countries of their discoverers, as in the case of ruthenium. Ruthenium is the former name of Russia. Discovered in 1844, Germanium, 1886, and Francium, 1939. Working in very difficult conditions, in a laboratory organized in a former shed, the couple analyzed several tons of pitch blend, which they received from the Austrian government. It was waste from the uranium mine in Jachimowo, present-day Czech Republic. The shed was made available by the authorities of the School of Physics and Industrial Chemistry where Pierre Curie worked. As little was known about radioactivity at the time. It was a very risky job. Earlier experiments by Henry Becquerel showed that the mysterious radiation is emitted especially by uranium salts. However, Marie Sklodowska Curie revealed a surprising fact. Uranium salts obtained in the laboratory were less radioactive than uranium ore. This indicated that the ore contained a hitherto unknown component more radioactive than uranium. To find polonium and later radium, which was announced on December 21, 1898, a pair of scientists had to extract all the components of the ore. Some ores containing uranium and thorium, tarblende, chalcolithic, uranite, are very active in terms of becquerel emission. That this fact must be attributed to some other, extremely active substance which is found in these ores in a very small amount. We suppose that the body which we isolated from pitch blend contains a yet unknown metal, similar to bismuth in chemical properties. If the existence of this metal is confirmed, we propose the name, polonium, for it after the name of the homeland of one of us, wrote Maria Sklodowska Curie in her autobiography. On October 12, 1903, the Royal Swedish Academy awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics, equally to Mr. H. A. Becquerel, professor at the Polytechnic of Paris, for the discovery of natural radioactivity, and Mr. P. Curie, professor at the School of Industrial Physics and Chemistry, and Mrs. Marie Curie of Paris, for their joint research on the radiation phenomena discovered by Mr. H. A. Becquerel. Natural polonium found in uranium ore is a decay product of radium. It is an extremely rare element. In a ton of uranium ore there is only a 1 milligram, or one ten thousandth of a gram. Its discovery was possible thanks to research on radioactivity conducted by the Curies with the use of an electrometer. Peter Curie was the inventor of this device. Polonium's symbol is PO, atomic number 84. It is a silvery-white, heavy, 
9.14 grams per cc soft metal that melts at 254 degrees celsius in terms of chemical properties it resembles non-metallic selenium one of several known polonium compounds polonium 6 fluoride hexafluoride was used in the ussr in the 1960s as an activator of luminescent varnishes however it has now been replaced by cheaper substances polonium has the most isotopes of all the elements as many as 42 with atomic masses between 186 and 227. All these isotopes are radioactive. Polonium-209 is the most durable, with a half-life of 103 years. It does not occur naturally. Polonium isotopes 212 Po, 214 Po and 218 Po, which are products of radon decay, are found in trace amounts in indoor air. One of the dangers of smoking is the presence of traces of polonium in tobacco leaves, which get there from phosphate fertilizers. Polonium emits strong alpha radiation. 1 mg of 210 Po emits the same amount of alpha particles as 4.5 g of radium-226. Under the influence of this radiation, the air surrounding the polonium sample blows blue. Radioactive decay makes a polonium sample always warmer than its surroundings. A gram of polonium emits power as much as 140 watts, while heating up to over 500 Celsius. Therefore, it was formerly used as a light source of heat and electricity, thanks to the thermoelectric effect, in satellites and space vehicles. For example in the Soviet Lunokhods, the heat emitted by polonium heated components during cold moon nights. It is still sometimes used as a convenient, high-yield source of alpha particles. For example in radiation chemistry, or mixed with beryllium as a neutron source. However, the high radioactivity Toxicity and volatility of polonium compounds mean that they are replaced in practical applications by other radioactive substances. As an air ionizing substance, polonium is used to combat static electricity in industry. There are even anti-static brushes on the market with replaceable, due to radioactive decay, polonium microcharge useful for analog photographers dusting their negatives or audio files who care about the cleanliness of their vinyl records in the 1950s spark plugs containing polonium were tried without much success chemically polonium should not be harmful however Although the ionizing radiation emitted by this element is so impenetrable that you can shield yourself from it with a sheet of paper, when this substance enters the body, it becomes a deadly poison. Inhaled, swallowed or injected, polonium slowly destroys cells and tissues with alpha radiation, causing prolonged agony.